the best way to deal with high cholesterol is to find out what raised it to begin with and deal with that. Otherwise, if you just rely on cholesterol-lowering therapies, you run the risk of experiencing unwanted harmful side effects, as I explained in a previous video. I also explained that high cholesterol alone doesn't necessarily cause cardiovascular disease. And so wouldn't it be wonderful if you can lower high cholesterol levels without experiencing the side effects. In a previous video, I explained that cholesterol is an important substance the body produces because it needs it. It needs it to make different things. It is present in every single cell of the body. And so reducing it can actually be counterproductive in certain instances. So one of the reasons for higher cholesterol levels is that the body makes more of it because it needs it in order to produce those things that cholesterol produces, more hormones, more bile, and so on. When the body needs more of these substances, it will increase its production of cholesterol to meet its demands. The other reason for high cholesterol is that the body is not able to utilize it to produce these other things. Something is blocking the production of these other things, so you end up accumulating more cholesterol. An example of the first scenario is times of heightened stress. In times of heightened stress, the body needs to make more stress hormones like cortisol. So it's going to increase its cholesterol production to meet its demands for these types of hormones. And it is well known that higher stress levels contribute to higher cholesterol levels. An example of the second scenario where the cells of the body are not able to use cholesterol to produce the things it is needed for is a situation whereby the cells are just tired. They don't have the energy, they don't have the metabolic energy to function properly. They just lack energy to do much, including produce cholesterol. Common examples of this scenario are situations of low thyroid function and diabetes or prediabetes. Studies have shown that low thyroid function and diabetes are typically associated with higher cholesterol levels. So in all of these examples, treating and addressing the underlying cause of the high cholesterol, whether it's stress or hypothyroidism or poor sugar control, should help decrease cholesterol levels without needing to resort to conventional treatments. However, if these conditions themselves are treated with conventional means, then there is no guarantee that cholesterol levels will go down because typically conventional treatments are suppressive in nature. They don't treat the underlying cause. Just control the numbers at the surface. But teaching you how to treat hypothyroidism or diabetes naturally would require other videos. But just as an example, with regard to the supplement that I created for controlling cholesterol and improving cardiovascular function, I made sure to include ingredients that help support thyroid function such as selenium and iodine. And also I included ingredients that help support glucose metabolism, like coenzyme Q10 and B vitamins. And it so happens that some of these nutrients also help to counteract the negative effects of stress on the body. And of course, while we can get help from supplements, it is important to address these conditions properly with the right diet, and ideally by seeking out proper assessment and guidance by a knowledgeable and experienced health practitioner. For more tools and knowledge about how to improve cholesterol levels, and more importantly, cardiovascular function safely and naturally, check out the resources below.